Hey guys, it's your boy Slag bringing you another Avabel video. And guys, every week I bring you a new video with commentary and I'm looking at some of the other YouTubers out there and there's really like one, maybe two people other than me who's been putting out videos with commentaries, let alone doing one weekly. So if you guys want to keep seeing videos, if you guys aren't liking my videos, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button. Now, I'm doing this video in response because a couple of people wanted to know exactly what I've done to get to the level I am, to get the, all the job points that I did, uh, Master the Exorcist and the Priest cast, and I'm currently, as you can see, working on the linker. And I think, okay, fine. I'll show you right, the big thing that I really did, which I th talked about in another video, but I probably didn't go too in depth. But also I figured I'd point out a few common mistakes that a lot of people have been doing. And first and foremost, one mistake that happens during rushes, because that's really what I do is I do the rushes, I try to get the kill achievements. And for those of you who don't know about the achievements, yeah, you, you'll see like, you know, you get um, a thousand kills, you'll get a uh, 10,000 uh, experience and job experience. And that's actually pretty good. But what you don't see is that there's a couple of hidden achievements and that's for 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 7,777, and 10,000 kills. Now that's a mouthful. <laughs> and each one you know, gives you uh, essentially like a 1,000 XP and JXP for each kill. But you gotta hit the achievement in order to get it. So if you get 9,999 kills, you're not gonna get you know, additional 99,000, 99, whatever, XP, JXP, because we're one short, man, one short. But either way, once you hit the achievements, you actually get a lot, and I mean a lot of JXP. Like you mean, you'd be like, eh, the experience wasn't that great, but trust me, man, when you're trying to master a class, achievement hunting's the best way. Now, I was talking about mistakes before, and one of them was at the very beginning of the video when the guy just started, no warning, really didn't give us much of a time to, you know, set ourselves up, boss ourselves up. He just went, okay, well, six member join, boom. And all too often people even start the room before people even fully get in. They just see the name, person join room, and they just start the match. Now, one thing that I was talking about, and it should be coming up soon, but the achievements. And no, no, not yet. Okay, but yeah, guys, when you're you're starting a rush, give everyone a heads up. Help. Even have like your your lost speller cast blizzard in the middle of the field. So as soon as soon as you see that blizzard hit, start the match. And guys, don't be afraid to party up. That's the best and easiest way to get the kills. I mean. There's a reason why they still put, right, let you do it in the rushes. You're not getting uh, any XP per kill, necessarily, not like the floors. So party up, man. You're giving, right, by you right, help partying up with this other guy, you're helping yourself get that much quicker to the kills. But neither way, because I, I, you know, last video I had talked about this, I kept saying the same thing, party up, party up. But now, here is where you see I get the 777 kill. And that's pretty good, man. Now, I love getting these achievements because they made things so much easier. My sub-GM, X Nana X, when I was working on The Exorcist, she recommended I do this, and she was right. Now, One of the harder things of rushing is, well, it kind of reminds me of crab fishing. So if any of you all have ever seen the show Deadliest Catch, they, they always use a phrase, you know, got to be on the crab. Well, when rushing, especially if you're not a high damaging class like an acolyte, you want to be on the mobs, specifically where they spawn. 
So there's a few spots in each of the rushes where the mobs will spawn in large groups. So if you can find one and stay on top of one, it'll be a lot easier to get the kills that you need. And one other thing, guys, and this goes really more to, you know, mage classes than anyone else, give the other people a chance. And this is another mistake that a lot of people do, which I said before. Remember Jones the party? He just starts. Doesn't even give us a chance to buff get ourselves ready because guys by waiting that extra couple of seconds you're gonna get a few more extra kills and sometimes it just makes the difference and plus you look a lot less of an ass but as you can see right there I got my 1000 kill achievement it's really not that hard I mean if you're doing a, a, a rush 3 maybe a rush 2 depending on your level you know, you'll get it in two rushes and you know, counting the experience that you get from the rush itself, you know, it really adds up very quickly. And the fact that, you know, getting the 1,000 kill achievement isn't that hard. You know, what, two rushes on a rush three? And maybe one in a rush one? Well, damn, man, that's pretty good. So, guys, just keep that in mind when you're rushing party up and share. Sharing's caring. Now, here's rush, a rush one like I was also just saying, because, you know, it's a great way, very easy to get like a, a thousand kills with a high level party. And one more thing about parties, guys. By the way, every time I say party, take a shot. If you get drunk and you have, have to get a liver transplant by the end of this video, I'm not responsible. <laughs> but also remember to set not just for the party, but for the room itself, a level limit, minimum and maximum, because it doesn't make sense when you got four level 80s and then all of a sudden you're doing a rush one and a level 30 pops up. Those are extra kills that you could have actually had if you let somebody else come into the room because you level limited it. And this over here is one thing I keep talking about. Law spellers, man, you, you see like I'm, like I'm right there. I got the mobs, I'm attacking. Why do you gotta cast your blizzard on me? And all throughout, I, all throughout this rush, the same thing kept happening. There's one side almost completely full of mobs. No, no one else really around. And everyone else is cramping over the same area. Guys, spread out. The mobs do respawn. They do not take that long to respawn. By the time you clear one side, turn around and then clear that and turn back again, the mobs have respawned. And then there's plenty of room. Y'all don't need to be standing on top of each other. I mean, unless you're trying to have a tickle fest, what are you doing on top of each other? This is Abibel, not Pornabel. Which, by the way, guys, some people have been uh, trying to pull off stuff like that. But that's a whole nother video. Now, another mistake that this guy had done by starting the match is that he sees that you know someone's talking to me and he just starts the match. I mean that could have actually caused a delay in getting the kills because I could have had the screen up or something, missed out on a few seconds which could have missed out on a couple of extra kills. And that, that's the reason why we're partying so we can try and get those kills. So guys, give a heads up. Let everyone know you're about to start it. Say hey, starting at a uh, you know, four minutes and 30 seconds. You know, let them know what time it's going to start. Or be like, hey, guys, starting. Well, a little courtesy, man. You know, we're not video game characters. We're video game players. There is a person on the other side, and we do have feelings and actually get annoyed by stupid garbage. So, guys, please be a little more considerate to your fellow players, man. Like, we're actually trying to work together. And, by the way... What that guy was asking me was actually about a previous video where I was on top of the wedding cake during the wedding event. He got kind of confused on what's a glitch, what's a hack. He thought it was a hack in order to get it. But for those of you who actually remember the wedding room, you know, you had to jump on the teddy bear, jump over this area, do this and that. It was a pain to do, but it did make for a great shot. 
And guys, by the way, keep an eye on the mini map. You see, a couple of guys were already like stumbling over each other. I think there was five of us in the room, and they come running over right in the area I'm in. Instead of spreading out, they have to attack the same exact mobs I'm attacking. Guys, I'm going to say this. If you're level 80, or even level 70, or level 60, or level 50, and you're doing a rush one, and it takes three of you to kill a leafless, Guys, my advice to you, close the game, go to your app storage, find the Abibel app, and click on install. If it takes three of you to kill one of these leaflets, then maybe you need to reevaluate playing the game. And guys, one mistake I did during this rush was I was talking a bit too much. When rushing, it's probably best just to not talk, and if you got something to say, say it before or after the rush, and just, you know, try and optimize your time best for killing the monsters. Now, guys, just so you also know, when you do run out of DP dungeon points, there is still one other option. Go into the floors and killing mobs on, you know, like the easiest one for you to kill. Look for floors that have, you know, a high concentration of the mobs in order to so you finish off your kill achievements because you may not get, most likely you won't get the 10 kill achievement just from doing the rushes unless you start doing rush ones and you got a really good party and you're doing what, yeah, pretty much over one kill each one. I mean one kill, one K each, <laughs> each rush. And um, guys, the last place to get JXP in terms of mastering your classes is also the random dungeon. It's a good option, kind of slow going, but it's possible to get a large amount, especially in the higher floors where you're pretty much getting a 1k JXP per kill if you don't mind fighting a bunch of pain in the butt monsters. But anyway, guys, that's the video. Hit that like, that subscribe button if you like it and if you want to see more. And just quick recap, guys. Do rushes, party up, get the killed achievements, and when you're running low on dungeon points, pop into the random dungeon or just go to the floors and kill some easy monsters to make those achievements. And before you know it, you're going to be mastering your classes. So guys, take care. Peace.